Yeah, man. Wagwan, my name is Naomi Cowan. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm a singer, songwriter, all around creative. And sometimes people call me Paradise Plum. And you'll learn a little bit more why. But uh, nice to be here. You carry feelings. If me care 21 time, 22 time, my different dealings. Living in my own world, my own lane, 225, I'm speeding. Try to catch me if you can. Couldn't hold me if you try. Nothing can stop me now. Why, why? Oh, why, why? You ain't got to give me bye bye. Surprisingly, I, I learned that I wanted to do this for a living when I was at my lowest. Um, meaning, you know, I've had different mental health battles and challenges in the past, but it was, you know, when I, I've, I had lost sight of who I was for a while and I was going through, um, I guess like high functioning depression and anxiety. So what I, what I looks like, looks like is I was just pursuing a bunch of things that were not fulfilling me, you know, and and so on the outside, it may have looked like I was okay, but really on the inside, I was every day just like very dissatisfied and my soul was in a way just like crying out. And um, I didn't look the same either, you know. I, there was just something different about me. I, my body wasn't happy. I had a lot of weight on. Um, and I was eating my emotions, you know, just a lot of unhealthy things were happening internally even though I was living like a fairly decent life. Because, when, because my parents never forced the music stuff on me. Um, they were just very much like, be who you want to be. They were just very encouraging in whatever direction I took. And because I was, thankfully they raised me in such a way to see the world and see the options. And so maybe because I, I was offered so many options in life, you know, and music is a very terrifying. It is a very vulnerable career to be in. And so maybe also it was just easier. I thought maybe it would have been easier to pursue other things, right? Um, because I had those options. Because I, you know, um, I'm a smart, intelligent woman. You know what I mean? So I think all of those things combined is, is why. But, you know, full circle, I think at the end of the day, soul always knows what it needs. And I actually did a lot of inner work where I... Um, I reflected a lot on who I was as a child and I would go through and I still do it now like go through my pictures and stuff like that and I just think about like when when was this human this little human ver like this little version of myself when was she most excited most alive and you know I and those are the things that tell you so much about yourself because when you're a child you're not afraid of anything really your promises come when you're talking I know you coming out of pocket man I get about your feelings so I've had energy just like sitting in my arse you know just waiting for the right time so I I think it's, it's so special and in a way a little bit ironic that it came out during this time where yes it is a little bit you know you might naturally as an artist you want to write things for the times but also I know for me there's a struggle that we've all gone through together as a collective through this pandemic. So to put out a song like this is just as meaningful because it's a way to remind each other, this is who you are. You have that light inside of you because that's what the song is about for me. The song is really my way. It's like the conversation I have with myself. A lot of the times I, I write these songs based on a, an experience, but then I write it back to me. Like, what would I tell myself? in this situation and so i am really happy that it even communicates that to you as a listener of music you know because i'm not gonna lie it's it's been rough to stay creative it's been hard it's been it's been scary it's been so much up and down there's also just a lot of trauma that people are experiencing and so as a creative you absorb a lot of it too and so to be able to write a song that would let someone wake up and say hey it, it, it's, it means a lot to me. Um, so that's why we decided to lead with this song because I'm releasing song consistent, releasing music consistently for the year, but we wanted to come out hardcore with this one because it also reveals a different side of who I am. And I think it's a side of me that not very many people know just yet, other than the people that know me, right? So I am 
I'm glad that it's out there and there for people to experience. And you know, we've gotten great reviews from all different categories of people, people that are critics of music and just everyday people that love music. And, and so that means, means the world. So what's next is this, where um, I'm dropping another single um, next week. And then the whole creative plan, I've been working with Walsh Fire from Major Lazo. And um, he and I decided that we're gonna do some disruptive things. What that means is we're gonna consistently release music once a month, always dropping songs. And then we're leading with a mixtape that's dropping in May. And then, in May, yeah. Sorry, I just looked at my calendar. I'm like, where are we now? <laughs> May, June, right? And then I have an EP that's already done and that's later on in the summer. So we're, we're releasing music for the rest, of, for the whole of the year, right? And, and beyond that, I have, I have developed a, um, how do I say it? I want to tell you without telling you, but let's say all of the projects are going to connect with one another, right? So I've kind of created an alternative, un an alternate universe for my music to exist on them. And as we keep dropping songs, the picture will become clearer. Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, and, 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 and that's what I'm actually most, to be honest, that's probably what I'm most excited about, mainly because after the end of last year and I looked at all of the music that we have and I was kind of a little bit overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, you know, what am I going to do with all of this music? And so I said, I just need to create a, a world for the music to exist. That way, you as a listener can always remember that place that it came from, you know, that, that alternate universe, so. Um, you know, I'm N-A-O-M-I-C-O-W-A-N, so that's Naomi Cowan. So just at Naomi Cowan across all platforms. Keep, I like to keep it simple, easy to find. Um, so Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Hey, my name is Naomi Cowan, and you've just been buzzed. <laughs>